Okay, so here's another example. Um, again, I always start with my coefficients. That's the fancy word for these numbers that are in front of all the letters, or letters are called variables. Um, but I'm going to start with the 12 and the 4. Now, since they're both even numbers, I know that 2 divides out of both of them. But 2 is not the greatest number I can divide out of them. I can divide 4 out of 12 and 4 out of itself. So, I am going to start with 12 divided by 4 and 4 divided by 4. 12 divided by 4 is a 3, and 4 divided by 4 is a 1. And since I divided by 4, that 4 has to go out in front. That is part of my greatest common factor. Now I move on to the variables, and in this example, I have two different letters, A's and B's. The first term has an A squared, and the second term has an A. Remember, a squared is an a times a, and the second term is just an a. They both have an a in common, so I'm going to factor out an a. Now, if you factor an a squared, that means you're dividing, sorry, if you factor an a from your a squared, you're dividing it by a. And a squared, let's see, a squared is a times a, and you're dividing that by a. These A's just cancel out, and you're just left with an A. Boop. And then the same thing here. A divided by A, anything over itself cancels out basically to be a 1. But 1 times the orange one is still just 1. So it's kind of pointless. I mean, I suppose you could write 1 times 1, but what's the point? 1 times 1 is 1. So there you go. And then I'm going to move on to the um, next letters, which are the B's. I have a B cubed and a B to the first. So remember, B cubed is B times B times B, and B to the first is just a B. So they both have just one B in common. So that's what I'm going to factor out, a B. But when you take a b cubed and you divide a b, and I'm just going to show it right here. If I take the 3b, the b, 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 and divide it by a b, <laughs> a b just cancels out, so I'm left with b, b, or b squared. And then here, b divided by b, those cancel. You're just left with a 1. So you're left with 1 times 1 times 1, which is just 1 here. But don't forget the plus sign in between. This guy has to come down. Your terms are separated by plus signs or minus signs, so you just kind of copy them down. And that's my answer. Isn't that pretty? I have a 4AB times a 3AB squared plus 1. And if, you, if you'll notice, this original term was a 4AB. That turned out to be my greatest common factor. And whenever you take something and divide it by itself, you just get a 1, right? 5 divided by 5 equals 1. Uh, a divided by A equals 1. And a 4AB divided by a 4AB equals 1. A lot of times people think, oh, that just cancels out and there's nothing there. No, you are dividing something from it. There's got to be a factor left. If you start with two factors in the beginning, you have to have two factors when you're done. And again, you can always distribute back to see, you know, if it made sense. But that's another example of greatest common factoring.